Now the Kenya Tea Development Agency directors in Grinyaga County Zone 5 now wants former directors involved in the corruption scandal that defrauded the agency to be disqualified from running in the upcoming elections scheduled to take place on 28th June and conducted by the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission, IEBC. Listen in. A few days ahead of the elections of directors, of the 54 smallholder tea factories under the Kenya Tea Development Agency, KTDA, that is expected to be conducted on 28th of this month by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. The directors have urged the government to take action on embezzlements of funds, as revealed in the multi-agency audit report of the tea agency. We are okay with IEBC, but the only problem we're having is the former directors who are who, who are named in the multi-agency reports it looks like uh, they have they have joined together to try to try and, to try and come back so we're asking the government to take action on the multi-agency reports as directors we came under reforms and we have been able to transform our factory now people can uh, are earning a, a good money and uh, still we are expecting this year for them to get a lot of money. Uh, we are expecting that actually even the production of Dima has been very high this year. The current board member John Mithamo lamented that the former directors are using their money to bribe farmers ahead of the elections as they try to find their way into the management of KTDA. Nevertheless, the farmers are on hope that the new directors will streamline the tea sector's and increase monthly payments from current 26 Kenya shillings per kilo to 30 Kenya shillings, as well as increasing the tea bonuses. In a question, it was twenty one, thousand twenty six. Now, bonus it on Gasaka, Kira Moka bonus in Gasaka. Clearance of those willing to vie for the position of directors is ongoing until fourteenth of July, twenty twenty four. The full list of successful candidates will be available. The elections following a court directive issued on April eleventh, twenty twenty four, which came after Rangos putting KTDA again as former directors. Hence, delaying the elections by at least one year. Brian Oma, KUTV.